what's up guys i am back with another video in today's video we are doing station 19 predictions for the final season season seven so to start off we got to start off with andy herrera of course number one on the call sheet i think for her storyline we're going to just see more of her finally being captain i mean this has been a long time coming she's been gunning for captain since season one and you know everything just kept getting in the way of her finally of her being the captain but now she is finally captain of station 19. i'm so excited to see kind of like how she takes her leadership role like you know i feel like most 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 of the house is going to be supportive you know we still have theo there we still have um Kate, I believe her name is the one, you know, who she who he cheated with. We're gonna get into that later. But yeah, so I feel like most of the um company is still gonna be, you know, very supportive of her. Um, we're gonna see kind of like the trials and tribulations of that. Um, romantic wise, I don't know. I feel like we're gonna take a burner on her romantic. Like I feel like this season really should be focused in on just her captaincy. Because, you know, we've we've had the all of the seasons have involved some type of crazy love interest for her. The only love interest that I would be down for is her and Victoria. Listen, y'all, I wasn't I wasn't I didn't see it at first until this last season. I was like, y'all, y'all getting kind of close. Like if it's just friendship, I love it as well. I love the bond between them two. They are they are really hilarious together, work well together. The chemistry is really there. So yeah, I'm glad that we're focusing in on on their friendship because I feel like we haven't we haven't seen that um, that pairing before. It was always the three of them with uh, Maya included. So I'm I'm excited to see more of them about them. But you know, if we if we get a love interest, you know, for Andy, uh, I kind of want I kind of want it to be the story. But this is the last season. Why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? The uh, Victoria Hughes, her and Theo are done though. If they wasn't done before, they are done now. Because Theo is a cheater. And it's always the ones they tell you not to worry about. She got a bad vibe from old girl. As soon as she entered into the station, she had a bad vibe about her. So I'm excited to see where that go. I feel like Jack is going to, you know, give them an ultimatum once he wakes up from that coma. He going to give Theo an ultimatum. You tell her or I tell her. Because I saw what I saw. Might have had that, that little fall back then, but I saw what I saw. And you saw how the old girl was when she was getting worked on. She was like, Victoria, you're here? She was like, of course I'm here. It's going to be real interesting to see, and especially because now they're all about to be working in the station. Oh, baby, the drama, the tea of it all. But I feel like Victoria is also a person who kind of, Victoria is a person who moves on quickly. So I feel like she's going to be like, okay, you cheated on me. She here with me, like the first couple of, you know, episodes or whatever, she might have a little feeling about that, but I feel like she's going to be like, all right, whatever. Like, I don't even, I don't even hold you in my space anymore type of thing. Like, she kind of, you know, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. Raw, she's still going to fight for her chief job, so I'm glad about that because we can't have nobody else as chief. Come on, her in them suits, baby, she be wearing them down, period. She be wearing them down. She be looking so good in her suits. But Ross Sullivan, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't. I'm real. I'm still iffy about Sullivan because he's just so selfish. Like he didn't, he really did not try to think from her point of view of how their relationship could affect her career. Like your career is still gonna be fine. Her career is the one that's gonna take the dumps. Like she promoted you to the lieutenant, and you still trying to gun for captain, sir. They found out that y'all together, and you got captain. Both of y'all out of job now. And let's be for real. Maya and Karina. I mean, the best couple on the show. Um, last season, they were trying to have a baby. I feel like that's still going to continue to be a thing for them. But because it is the last season and we only have 10 episodes, I'm not sure how fast along, how slow they're going to take it. I feel like, I mean, I'm hoping that she's pregnant, by, that um, Karina is pregnant by the first episode so we can kind of see them actually be a family, not just the pregnancy part of it because if that's the case then we're gonna have to do uh, a big time jump just so because i really want to see them how they vibe as mothers as we know maya did not want to be a mother so how is she gonna take this on this new motherhood and with travis i feel like you know he had his mid uh mayor race he decided to give it up um, I'm not sure what direction we're going to see him go into this season. I wonder if it's going to be still on that political side. So maybe he's not 
gonna get mayor but maybe he's still somehow working in local government or local politics or something something like that i feel like he kind of you know i mean i know his main goal was to get dixon out but now dixon is dead so how does that affect him now travis and eli i mean baby that's just messy with the whole andy thing like why baby that was messy that was real messy um i was here for the all of the drama though just like Vic. Vic was was knowing both sides of the tea. I I'm here for the drama, but that was that was a little messy. That was a little messy. I'm I'm curious to see how Travis and Eli are gonna, you know, continue on with their relationship if they do. And from the promos it looked like Captain Beckett is back. So I don't really know how they're start you know what? I swear to God. If they put Beckett and Vic together because she was the one that kind of, you know, helped him when he was feeling suicidal. Like, he was literally about to commit suicide. And she helped him. I hope they don't make them be together. I hope that's not where their storyline is heading. I don't, I don't see them being romantically involved at all. And with Victoria Hughes. Um, I believe we're just going to see her more with Crisis One. Just being her, her perfect self. She is like such a fun character that I know everybody loves. If you don't love Victoria, something's wrong with you. There's, the problem is you. Much light and joy to the series. Like she is hilarious. So I feel like we're just going to dive more into her um, Crisis One. Like now she's the leader of it. It's not really all on Diane. She's the one that's going to you know take the reins over and i just feel like we're gonna see her more of a leadership position which i'm really excited about so for ben i feel like we're just gonna keep focusing him daily you know now he has three kids so i feel like we're just gonna he's not gonna be his his strong-headed stubborn self because he's really trying to you know stay alive for the kids um i feel like you know they're gonna be dealing with just the trials and tribulations of having a family you know now he has two teenagers and a little girl with jack jack is injured yet again so i think he's just gonna deal with whatever repercussions come from his um injury we met his bio siblings last season so i feel like the next step is just to meet the bio parents who gave him away um i feel like that's gonna bring up a lot of like emotional you know abandonment issues for him it's so hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that station 19 got canceled but Grey's anatomy didn't we're not going to talk about it because even so we have so many characters that came from Grey's Anatomy that could easily just go back to Grey's Anatomy and we can still just bring on people, bring, bring the Station 19 people back. So I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Um, make sure y'all follow my page so y'all can know when I post the actual review. Station 19 season 7 premiere. Peace y'all.